Here's a surprising new strategy for managing our weight. Bring on the sun! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Well, a new Northwestern study reports that the timing, intensity, and duration of our light exposure during the day is linked to our weight, meaning that bright light in the morning and the earlier, the better. Right. How the sun plays an important role in our lives. If we just stick close to Mother Nature, we'd get things a lot better than if we try to do it our own way. It's amazing how being in the sun does so many things for us. Never would have suspected it had something to do with losing weight. And we only need 20 minutes in the morning, sometime between 8 and 12, to have this effect to alter our metabolism, I guess. Right. And everybody knows that we need vitamin D as well from sunlight, and that's from 10 to 2, because that's when the UVB, the UVB rays are there. So if we are in the sun between 10 and 12 for about 20 to 30 minutes, two birds, one stone. Yeah, you look good in your bathing suit. But this study showed that it really does affect our body mass index. About 20%. So you're looking at uh, a substantial amount here. 20, I mean, 20% 20 of your body mass index is 20% of your weight. If you weigh 200 pounds, you're looking at 40 pounds. The morning wow. sun has got some power. And it's not just that we're looking at, at that by itself in combination with other factors. It has nothing to do with diet or exercise that is different or other factors that you think to be related to it. Well, you know, there was some previous research that um, showed that light plays a role in regulating our metabolism and our hunger and our, and our appetite or how satisfied we are. Sure, it's very, mu it's very much related to melatonin. If we go to bed and, and uh, the lights are on, particularly blue light or white light, it suppresses melatonin, we don't get enough sleep. That causes inflammation. And that causes a problem with insulin resistance and with leptin resistance, which drives us to eat more, puts on weight. So it's a factor that we need to pay attention to. It sounds like it would be a good idea to do what our ancestors told us to do, you exactly. know, to go to bed at night when it gets dark and leave our blinds open and so that the early morning sun can wake us up and make us feel good and look good. And <laughs> Exactly. So even those people that are morning larks, you know, if they get up early... It's not enough. You got to get out into the sun, and in this, the way we run our lives, we're indoors most of the time. We don't get twenty minutes of sunlight, so it's important to be thinking about those things and looking at the amount of of light power that there is. We need about five hundred lux. That's like candle power. Five hundred lux for this mechanism to take action. So there's a threshold here. Indoors, we only get two to three hundred, and if you're outside, even in a cloudy day you're getting about about a thousand. So outside is where the secret is. Well, it sounds to me like it's a better idea if you exercise to exercise outside in the morning. You know, if you have a choice between doing your treadmill or your bike or what have you to, to do it out in the sun. Right. So the take-home message, if you want to lose weight and get the assistance from the sun, get the sun in the morning. Follow a pattern of nature. So when it gets dark, get ready for bed. When it gets light, get out in the sun and, and do something. And even those larks, as we said, who are up early, if they don't have uh, uh, a, a, an ability to get into the sun, they're not going to benefit from it. Too much light at bedtime interferes with melatonin production, and that causes poor sleep and food intake. So the best time for vitamin D, the best time for sun, get out in the morning. <laughs>